Hello, welcome. In the last video, we proved that log base A of A times B equals the log base A of A plus the log base A of B. In this video, because these laws connect so nicely, let's prove that the log of base A of A divided by B equals the log base A of A minus the log base A of B. So intuitively this feels nice, right? Because initially log base A of A times B is the sum of their logs. So it feels nice that the log base A of A divided by B is the difference of their logs. It feels nice because they're opposite operations and multiplication and division that lead to opposite operations, addition and subtraction. So it feels like this makes sense. Let's see if we can prove it that this is going to work. So one fun proof that I like to use here just kind of starts with log base A of A. And, okay, well, log base A of A, we've got that. That's got to be the same thing as log base A of, well, let me just rewrite A, right? It's A divided by B times B. That's still just log A, right? A divided by B times B, those cancel out. And I think that's such an inventive step here because now we actually have something that we can work with. We have A divided by B, which is part of our goal of our proof. And if we assume that our first law of logs are true, which is this law up here that we, we just proved in the previous video. So let's say we've proved this. We can now use this law here. The log base A of A divided by B times B is just the log base A of what? Well, of A divided by B plus the log base A of B. Right? These are our two factors here we're multiplying, so it has to equal the log of each factor added together. And actually, we're kind of done now because here we have log base A of A. Okay, so if I rewrite this piece right here, it's the log base A of A. All right, sorry, that's kind of sloppy right there. Equals this, the log base A of A divided by B plus log base A of B. And we want to prove that the log base A of A divided by B equals the difference of log base A of A and log base A of B. So all we have to do, isn't this great? You just subtract log base A of B on both sides. If you do that, if you subtract it on both sides, what do you get? You get log base A of A minus log base A of B equals the log base A of a over B. Yes, we've proved it, right? This is the same thing here, right? It's just kind of reflected around the equal sign. So that's our second law of logs. Hope you enjoyed it.